Hi, my name is Aiden. Welcome to the screen because we're going to upgrade my NG2 play repo from Angular Alpha 36 up to Beta 0. Uh, so we're going to basically do three things. Uh, we're going to get the packages with npm instead of from CDNs like we're doing now. We're going to fix the routing and we're going to fix the form validation. Uh, so let's get started. As we can see here, we are trying to serve the application and in the background we can see that it's not even working now since the Tracer CDN doesn't seem to have uh, this file uh, anymore. Uh, but fortunate for us, we don't need Tracer anymore. So we're going to follow uh, the quick start guidelines here and uh, get the dependencies that we need from npm instead. So let's copy paste this whole dependencies part here from the pack from the package JSON uh, file and come to Visual Studio Code and come to packages JSON and we have a bunch of uh, dev dependencies. Let's make sure we have the latest gulp TypeScript since it was quite some while ago we used this the last time and let's get all the dependencies that uh, tutorial wants us to get. Save this. Let's kill this gulp serve process from now and do an npm install. While this is restoring we can switch back to a browser and come down to index.html file and uh, load the libraries that we're going to need to load. So we can just copy paste this, come to our index.html and instead of getting Tracer and System.js at the top here, let's get it from our node, node modules catalog, which is located one step up. And we can get rid of these two guys down here, but we're going to want the router as well. Let's make sure we can find the file. Oh, it hasn't restored yet, so let's wait. And now we can find the file. Sweet. All right. Now that we restored, we can see we got some error for, for an optional dependency, which let's not care about that. Hopefully it will work uh, anyways. So let's also configure this according to the tutorial. We can see they are using packages app. We don't actually need to do that. So let's just take this part here and it's located under app we don't have the boot file yet but we can easily add that once we're up and running again so if you save this now and let's also get rid of a couple of more things uh, we're not going to get typings from definitely typed repo anymore so uh, we can get rid of this entire folder and we can get rid of tsd.json since we're not going to use that. And we can come here to our gulp.config file and get rid of the typings. And we're going to need to do a couple of changes down here since we are using typings. And I think this is the only place. Let's make sure. Yep. So we can get rid of that. And let's try to compile. So we got a couple of errors like we expected since there is no module called Angular 2 Angular 2 anymore. We're going to need to get the specific components uh, from, uh, from their own barrels. So let's start by fixing app.ts. So we're going to get bootstrap. Let's actually take a look at uh, 
at the quick start guide and search for bootstrap and we're gonna get that from platform browser instead and it looks like they moved it once to angular core before that so just do an import get bootstrap from that place instead and get rid of bootstrap here and this will be located in angular 2 core and also it's not called router bindings anymore if we take a look at the change log for angular 2 and search for router bindings we can see that it changed name to router providers so let's change that as well should be able to find it it's look it looks for the type definition at the wrong place so let's try to figure out why uh, it should actually look for it in node modules it should be able to find it but let's hope that it was just because uh, we just switched this around we can close the close the folder and reopen it Right, so we reloaded the application uh, or the folder, and now we can navigate to the to the definition type definition that's located on the node modules. So that's great. Still a couple of issues with Visual Studio Code, so you need to bear with it. Okay, so if you save now and uh, take a look at the other compile time errors we can see we have a couple of compile time errors in about.ts so this one's pretty easy to fix we're gonna get component and view from core instead you can save that let's take a look at other errors into do.ts uh, there's a couple of imports that's wrong there as well so let's switch back to to do.ts and get these guy these guys from core and we don't need to import ng4 ng if anymore so we're not going to need to pass it into the directives property of the view annotation and we're going to get these guys from common and validators from common as well all right so let's see what happens now let's try compile again all right, so we are almost compiling. Looks like we have some kind of type error on line 30. Let's take a look at that. Right, so I think let's just go with any for now. And now compile. Way, and we are compiling. So let's try to serve this application. I bet we still aren't up and running since we haven't even modified the view templates yet. So it looks like I forgot a semicolon since we are using TSLint. We get these kind of warnings, which is great. Let's switch to app.ts. Yeah, forgot a semicolon up there. Save that. And now it ran, probably it needed to run TSLint again. Yep. And it's recompiling since we are watching these files. So let's switch back to a browser. All right, so here we can see that uh, we couldn't actually load the resources from the node modules and that's because when we start up the server if we take a look at our uh, gulp file we're t we are telling uh, the server uh, that our base, di base directory is app if we take a look in the folder structure here uh, if our base directory is app we can't actually access node modules which is on the same level uh, so let's fix this by just passing in an array of base directories instead and we're gonna pass in two more things here so we're gonna pass the root which will allow us to load things from node modules uh, but then the let's actually do it this way first and then we can take a look at the new errors and add a new base directory here to fix that as well uh, so we're gonna need to stop the server uh, try to serve it again 
And as we can see, we didn't get the errors that we got before. We actually managed to load the, uh, the assemblies we are trying to load from index.html. But then uh, we're trying to load core, router, the imports in our TypeScript files, and we can see that it can't find those. So this looks a bit strange, but just by adding another base directory here into a gulp file, we can fix that. So we're gonna need to provide the node modules uh, catalog as well. Save, and then restart. So you can see here on the network, we're probably loading a bunch of files now. So we actually loaded all our uh, libraries, but now we need to fix all the breaking changes. So it says that root link is not on is not a known native property, and that's because it's not named root link with it with this dash anymore. Uh, they they switched to camel casing. We're also gonna need to rename the root to begin with an uppercase letter. Uh, so let's come to the code again. Take a look at app.ts, and we're gonna type root to link instead and make sure that we have uppercase letters for roots. Let's also make sure to change down here and let's see what happens now. Refresh. All right, so we have our roots. So we have a couple of other errors here as expected, uh, but that's in the todo.html template. So, but looks like we're gonna need to fix them before we can actually get the routing running. Uh, so let's switch to our todo.html. And once again here, they switched to camel casing. So let's find all the places, right? So we have ng4 here, and it's camel casing here as well for form model and also for ng form control. Uh, let's see if we forgot something. Yep, ngif. Let's find all the ngifs. And that's camel casing there as well. It's pretty nice. We don't need to import these directives. They are imported by default. All right, save this up, but it looked like, yeah, so this looks a bit strange. Looks like a typo, so we should finish our form down here, not the div. Uh, so let's refresh now. And it looks like our application is up and running. So we just went from alpha uh, 36 to beta zero in, uh, uh, I think, 15 minutes or something. So let's see if routing is working. We can pass parameters to root as, a, as we're doing in about uh, root. And if we press the to do uh, page, we can add, add new to do's. And you probably have the validation here as well. Uh, as we can see here, now the form is invalid uh, because new to do is invalid. And as soon as you start typing, the error goes away. So this is a bit strange that when you add to those to the list, uh, we just revalidate, uh, but we can fix that another time. I think that was, I think we had this issue even before we migrated. So and we can complete all and we can remove the to-dos. So I think uh, the only thing that's missing in this uh, simple uh, ng2 play seed uh, is uh, to use uh, rxjs to post and get data as well. So I'm thinking about integrating uh, or using Firebase uh, for our next screen cost to persist the to-do app to there to do items. So uh, until next time, have a nice day. Bye.